Welcome to Nebula 404, where we introduce listeners to the world of technology. So I'm Risco Mention Lewis, Deputy Police Commissioner of Suffolk County Police Department. I always say, um, when you s slow down or stop re-entry, you know, the entry to, pr to prison, you um, reduce re-entry, obviously. And so the idea is these young men and women who may have gotten criminally involved at some point in their lives, if you can get them a career or something that they love, um, they'll just move on to something else because they'll realize their own value. It's exciting to see their, their passion and interest and how that energy, that pos creating positive energy in the right um, direction really changes them. It's a pleasure to represent Microsoft and to discuss important topics related to workforce development in the IT industry. What challenges is Microsoft facing today with regards to you know, skills development in the workforce? Now, I'd say right now there's two big challenges. The economic impacts from the COVID pandemic and the acceleration of digital adoption. Roughly one third of the total U.S. workforce lack the digital skills that are essential in today's economy. And we see it as well in our classrooms. You know, they're great consumers of, of content and, and being able to use the internet from a consumption perspective, but they, are, they lack the ability to really understand how the technology plays a role in business today. Hi, I'm Nick. I'm a lead instructor at Nebula Academy, and today we're gonna to be talking about microbits. From a development perspective, that's all awesome because you can see it, the students can interact with it, and they're learning. You know, it's, it's getting kids excited about coding. <laughs> and, and so sometimes coding can be pretty dry to learn, right, Nick? Yeah, yeah. Uh, with the drones, as soon as the students hook up with the uh, um, drag and drop coding and they get it flying, even if it's not a complex mission, their faces light up. We're excited to have a CEO of Sandwire, Adam Schwamm. So he is going to share with us what it takes to get into the tech field. This generation has an innate ability and understanding from day one, from when you're literally eight months old to a year old, all of a sudden you get an iPad in your hand and you know how to use it. One of the things that um, with modern day technology, you're always there and you're always available no matter where you are or when you need it. Right. And this generation really does completely understand that. And I always say when I'm introducing We Connect the Dots to people who may not be aware of you, I always say they level set uh, the education in IT. They make these programs available, coding, uh, the Creating STEAM program, uh, the Codeathon. they make programs like this available to everyone, uh, you know, nationwide and certainly within our community. You have access to this amazing program that teaches you uh, 21st century workforce development skills. And uh, to me that's amazing and that contributes to our local economy. Not to downplay uh, traditional education, but Nebula really made me, prepared me for working in the environment and just like going through the steps and making me feel confident and comfortable to work in the tech field. The reason why they hired me, not because I have a bachelor's degree or anything or I'm like that, but because I was part of a boot camp. I wanted to let the audience really hear the real impact of what our program does. And, and how it's supporting women um, to take that leap to be able to build a career and still be a mom too, right? To be able to have both. I definitely enjoy going back and forth and just being able to be with my, my newborn and still be able to work and not only work, but I've increased my salary, like my income tremendously <laughs> in a field that is basically dominated by men.